Hey, what's up? Hello, my name is Emma, and today we are here for the red carpet event for the movie application of Everything Everything. I got the amazing opportunity to attend an advanced screening for the film Everything Everything as well as participate in a red carpet events with some of the most influential people that had a role in making this movie. If you somehow don't know though I highly doubt it because Everything Everything has been everywhere everywhere. The movie adaptation of the book Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon hits theaters this weekend May 19th and it follows the story of a girl named Maddie Whittier who has severe combined immunodeficiency meaning she's essentially allergic to everything. As a result of this rare disease, Maddie has never left her house in 17 years of life until one day a boy named Ollie moves in who she quickly becomes friends with and she realizes that she might want more from this life that she has been living. I am very lucky to have already seen everything everything along with my best friend and cameraman for the upcoming video, Michael from Michael Book Lion. So thank you so much to Warner Bros Pictures for providing travel accommodations as well as tickets to attend the screening. I personally really enjoyed the film Everything Everything. I will have a review of it up very soon but for this video we're doing something a little different and totally new on my channel. As I stated previously, I was invited to meet, greet, and interview the cast, the original author of the book, as well as the director, Amanda Stenberg, Nick Robinson, Anika Noni Rose, Anna De La Bruguera, Nicola Yoon, and Stella Meghe. I got to ask them some questions regarding everything, everything that I am super excited to share with you guys. But before we jump into that footage, I do just want to give you guys a disclaimer that this was my first ever red carpet event. I was very humbled and honored by the opportunity, but it is something totally new to me. So while Michael was an absolute doll when it came to recording these interviews, it was a very crowded, small, cramped space. It's very loud, so I just wanted to let you guys know that there are subtitles on this video so you guys can read along with our interviews if you can't hear all that well. So without further ado, here are those interviews. What drew you to the story of everything, everything that made you want to be a part of this film? I mean, Nicola Yoon's book, oh, wow. all together, you know, it is just so magical and there's just so much whimsy and it's romantic but it's dark and it just you know it gives you a feeling of this fairy tale and I loved that um, but it was also very real and the emotions were very real and I was excited to kind of get all those different tones into one film. That's great. So it seems like you were a fan of the book yes. entering. As someone who like is a total reader, what's the hardest part of you giving up like this baby of a story you've created and giving someone else all this creative license with it? Right. You know, I will tell you what's surprising about this is um, I think I read like the fourth and the fifth version of the script and there was a scene in there that I wished I had written and I was like but yeah, I wish I had really thought hard. of that. Yeah. Um, and so that was the first moment when I was like, oh, this really is a new piece of art. you know. Like, and, and that's really nice because then you get to see Maddie and Ollie's story a couple times. Absolutely. All right, so that, I mean, that was actually really cool. I did not expect that. <laughs> so because yeah. it's a film with so many different emotional moments, whether it be totally inspirational or totally heartbreaking, what was the most difficult scene for you to film? Ooh, I think one of the most difficult scenes was striking the correct balance when Maddie does find out some truths about her life and I don't want to uh, reveal anything too crazy but I think striking that balance and that relationship with her and her mom was definitely the most challenging. I think some of the harder moments for her in the film were the moments of um, where it almost seemed too fantastic to believe like when they decide to run away together or when they uh, get off the plane and why it's moments that we wanted to capture kind of the dreamlike quality of the script and of the book. We also wanted to make sure that they were uh, believable. So it was finding that balance. I didn't find it difficult. I felt like it's such a loving film. It's done with such love and such care and such tenderness. Um, and it's so easy to be loving with Amanda, you know. So it was really, um, no, I can't, I can't say no. In my personal experience as, 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 as a character was when, you know, when Pauline, I don't want to say it, but when Pauline makes a decision of uh, do something with my character. Yeah. And uh, it was hard because we didn't want to play it like super melodramatic and, you know, all over it. It, it, was, it was a fine line just yeah. to be emotional but not be overreacting or anything. And um, so that was 
it was difficult because it's it's hard and she plays it so well. Yeah. She's a really strong actress. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm trying to hold, hold, hold it. Yeah. Do you have like a particular scene that you really, really loved how it came across in the movie? Like, is there anything you're very, very proud of that you really love to see? I mean, I love the opening of the movie. You know, I, there's so many scenes, yeah. but I love the opening of the movie because I think it really lays the groundwork for Maddie's imagination and the beauty of the film that, you know, we tried to pull through from the book. So great. Are there any scenes that are almost identical to what you originally imagined while writing the story? Is there anything that's very close to you, or is it something that's totally new? Um, there's one scene that's exactly like the book that I really love, and it's when um, Maddie and Ollie are in, like, the green room and they're meeting for the first yeah. time. And she's like nervous and awkward, and he's like, she says, um, "You're really different than I would thought you would be." And he says, "I know, sexier." And, yeah. Such a great scene. I love that scene, and they do it so well because it's like, you know, when you really like someone but you don't know them that well yet, yeah. and you're like awkward, but you can feel like the all the like the want. Yeah. Yeah. They feel like captured. I feel like. That's perfect. So, because you're somebody that's always had the privilege to be outside and experience the world, what has been super hard about portraying someone? I think something that we thought about the most was like her innocence. And we thought about her frustration, but we mostly focused on how this is literally her whole world. She doesn't know anything else. And so in many ways, she doesn't actually know what she's missing. You were like no stranger to why adaptations recently. I mean, you know, have everything, everything. You just finished filming Simon vs. Homo Sapiens Agenda. Yeah. So what is it that you feel makes you drawn to these sorts of roles where teens can really relate to the characters that you're trying to use? I think that um, a lot of wild stories are actually more interesting stories being told today. So um, it has more to do with the story than it does with the genre. So just out of curiosity, because this Everything Everything was a novel first, did you read it in preparation for the role, or did you want to go in completely blind to the character of Dr. Whittier on screen? I didn't really have a chance to read it because everything went so quickly for me. Um, so I utilized the script and I went through the book to find, to see, to make sure that I'm moving in the way that um, it should have been done. But the thing is that when something is adapted, you really have to pay most attention to your script. And then you find the things that are similar in the book because there's always something that changes. And hopefully that can inform you and you can take that with you. But I did an adaptation once and the movie was so drastically different from the book that it, I was like, Ooh! <laughs> and so I had to stop reading the book. So it depends on the situation, but it's just really fast. Do you feel like there's anything about your role in Everything Everything that sets it apart from your other roles in the past? Yeah, I think I think what my role does, it's I, I have never been in a role where I'm kind of like a little bit of the relief. Yes. Uh, in, in like every scene, like, you know, it's, it's everything that's going on with her and uh, the tension with the mother. So I think every, every time Carla is there, it's kind of like just to make her happy, to make her uh, feel comfortable and, and to laugh and to just to see like there's someone that like loves her and wants her to risk uh, a little bit more, you know, and, and to live a better life. How do you find the balance of taking like an already fully established work and also working it into a movie where you might have to make some changes or you need to actually make sure that everything is on screen as opposed to being totally yeah. able to the So like, how do you find that balance? I mean, you have to go with your gut. And when I read the book, um, you know, and the script, understanding maybe what needed to still be in the movie that's in the book that some of the hardcore fans mm -hmm. would want to see, um, but then also be free to to change it and make it more visual if if it's not reading, so that it can come alive mm -hmm. and it can be um, its own experience in the theater. You have been involved in so many YA adaptations lately. You're I have so been. many roles. Yeah. So, um, what do you feel it is about? The role of Maddie that sets apart from something like Ruby in The Darkest Minds or Ruby. Well, I think because of Maddie's very unique experience of never going outside, she is really special in her um, in her innocence and her awkwardness and her kind of naivete. I think it's really sweet and endearing. Do you feel that like there's any like additional pressure to portraying a role where it already has a massive fan base for you to live up to? Is there like an additional pressure, or you take it the same always? I think it's exciting. I think it kind of gives you uh, motivation, and the fact that people are so passionate about it, I think it's great. No, I think it's the same as always. I think that my responsibility is to represent it as strongly and as best as I can, and that's really all you can do. I can't anticipate what 
a, a fan base is going to be amped about or upset about yeah. or whatever, all I can do is do my very best to tell the story that I need to tell and hope that they are connected to it. Uh, well, it's always, it's always, you always want them to, um, to like you, even yeah. if they're already <laughs> nudging you, but uh, I think Amanda has more of the pressure there. Yeah, of course. Uh, I don't think I do have the pressure, I think, but I think because they're so perfect uh -huh. that we just kind of like uh, melt very well. I think if they weren't that perfect and the amazing actors, they would be like picking on us, you know, yeah. like, oh, but I didn't like this person either. They, it's just, I think, um, it's very, um, it's very special, it's magic. But. So are there any changes, like previously mentioned, that you're really pleased with the way it came across on screen, even though it's not something that you originally wrote? Yeah, I mean, so, you know, the book has, like, some really sort of non-traditional and quirky, like, a quirky uh -huh. feeling to it, yeah. and I really worried about how that was going to get reproduced, um, but Stella does a good job, right? Because, you know, there's yeah. a lot of texting, and there is IMs, and there is a recipe, and all the drawings, <laughs> but she pulls it off, like, I won't spoil it, but she did a really <laughs> good job of, yeah. like, it, like Incorporating it. So, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. One of my personal favorite scenes from the movie, that, or at least changes that you guys yeah. have made, was the transformation of the original emails in the book right. to how they kind of come across in the movie where yeah. they're talking face to face. So, what was that process like of figuring out how to transfer, you know, just static emails into yeah. something more visual? I mean, that was the big kind of question of the of the of the of the film before we started, and you know, I just wanted it to be as visual as possible. I wanted to put Nick and Amanda in the same room as yeah. much as possible. Possible. And so, you know, we use her architecture as a way and her imagination as a way to bring these characters together and elevate the film. Because having Ollie's first meeting was so awkward, do you have any like awkward experiences or you know, maybe first date stories that you were able to relate to in that moment? Um, I think I remember going on this one date at the museum and like it was summertime and I was wearing this black turtleneck. It was just a terrible idea and I was like sweating so much uh -huh. at the boy that I was on a date with actually <laughs> said something. Oh, no. He was like, what's that smell? And I was like, oh, God. Like, oh, no, that's I, terrible. Yeah, whatever. Because Ollie has a signature style in the movie, he's always wearing black, he's got the long, unkempt hair. Do you have a signature style that like you can always be known for, or is it just like go with the flow? Um, I'd say it's more go with the flow. I wouldn't, nothing as distinct as Ollie. Ollie has like definite taste. Yeah. All black, all the time. Absolutely. Do you feel like there's anything from your personal life that you were able to use as a way to portray the role of Dr. Whittier, anything of loving compassion that she feels for Maddie or the, the nurturing or the caring for the family? I think the, the, the love of a parent, out. you know, something that's stayed with me and that's been really important to me throughout my entire life. I think that the love of a parent is something that stays with you your entire life if you're lucky. And so definitely that was within me as something to pour forth into this character because I know that love, you know, I've experienced that love. Hopefully, hopefully you have and, and most people that we know because it's a, it's a sad thing when someone hasn't experienced that and I hope that it's you always hope that it's something that they encounter somewhere else in life to fill that space up. This red carpet event with all of these influential figures in regards to everything everything was one of the coolest milestones that have come from my YouTube journey thus far. It was a really amazing experience so thank you so much to Warner Bros Pictures for allowing me to take part and inviting me to this awesome screening and event. It was such a pleasure to chat with all of these people that had a hand in making everything everything and I had such a great experience. Don't forget to grab your tickets for everything everything. It comes out this Friday May 19th and I hope you guys are excited for it. So thank you again to Warner Bros Pictures. Thank you to the cast, director, and author of Everything Everything for taking the time to chat with me. I had such a great time, but that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!